mayhem and high tops here. Let me turn on this light. Does that help any? Yes, that helps a lot, actually. So, I made changes to this guy here. Because I didn't like the way it was set up before, because I felt like I didn't have enough storage space. So, I turned the island from a square into an oval. I switched where the bathroom and the living room are, so I could add this guy here. And then for the upstairs, I changed it completely around. The bed was here, and now it's here with the dresser here, and more storage going along. And then I still have that space down here for all of, like, the water heater, the wa water heat. <laughs> I can talk, I promise. The water heater and stuff like that. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw the walls for this. I'm going to teach you how to draw the kitchen. Because the kitchen is the most important. And I got some colored pencils here. Alright, so first things first, you're going to take a black and you're going to draw your outline. So this is, you're just going to count your squares and then remember how high your ceilings are. Your ceiling, your average ceiling is normally 20, not 20 feet, uh, 8 feet. So this wall is 14 by 8. All right, first things first, we're going to take off three feet for the staircase. And that's what leaves us with that. So next I'm going to take a gray and I'm going to draw a refrigerator. One, two, three, four, five, six. By three feet. This is where you can get more detailed and how you want things to look. Now I'm going to take a brown and I'm going to draw all the cabinets for this side. Three feet tall. Now I'm going to go back to my black and draw in the stove. And I'm going to draw my vent too because you need venting over your stove.
there's side one of the kitchen and now we're going to go back to the black sorry my phone's going off and we're going to draw this side over here How many feet is this? I'm just going to go straight up to the door. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's that. Now I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to draw in the details for the cabinets and stuff. And because these connect together in this corner here, I'm going to have a Lazy Susan. Cabinet. Which is this cabinet right here. Oh, yeah, it's a stove. Did I mess up? No, I didn't mess up. I didn't mess up. I just kind of sort of, which is this cabinet here. Which I'm going to indicate by drawing that. Okay. See, that's how you draw the walls. You just draw pictures of them. Um, if you want to see me draw and design bookcases, bookshelves, let me know down in the comments below. I know this isn't the most exciting video, but, you know, there you go. That's how you draw the backgrounds and stuff is you just count the squares and then you draw the details in. And, and see, you don't even have to be that artistic to do it. So this is just a good way to start sketching ideas out for how you want your house to look. If you want to see me do bookcases, let me know down in the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.